think they're going through a very important decision in their life. I think this just gives them an opportunity to really think about the decision they're going to make. If legislation from this state senator passes, the opportunity he speaks of will be a requirement by law for all Tennessee women seeking an abortion. Good evening, I'm Samantha Fisher. And I'm Bob Mueller. Senator Jim Tracy's bill would require a woman to have an ultrasound and then wait 24 hours before terminating her pregnancy. It would also require the woman to see the images of the fetus and hear the heartbeat. If a woman declines to view the scan, the ultrasound technician would be required to describe the images. We'll hear more from the lawmaker and critics of the controversial proposal in just a moment. But first, News 2's Tracy Tolentino brings us one woman's personal story. For Sheila Harper, the decision to have an abortion is one she lives with every single day. The shame is unbearable. The regret is unbelievable. It is a horrible thing to have to face. Harper says at 19 years old, she didn't know how deeply it would affect her. Looking back, she thinks an ultrasound might have stopped her from terminating her pregnancy. To be able to go back and see an ultrasound picture of my daughter that I aborted, I don't think I could have gone through with the decision had I seen that. And I had no idea 28 or some odd years later that I would still live with the regret of that one decision on that day. Harper is now a pro-life advocate for the group Save One. She supports newly proposed legislation from State Senator Jim Tracy. Women just deserve to be informed and to not to, to hold this from them and let them go through without seeing every side of this issue is just wrong. Harper's not worried about such a law violating women's rights. Instead, she says it might save some from sharing her experience. I would give anything had I seen some type of ultrasound and saw the development that it's not just a blob of tissue. It's not just uh, this, you know, this, me this mass that's inside me. It really is a living human being in there. Tracy Tolentino, Nashville's News 2. Now, pro-choice advocates are already voicing their concerns about Senator Tracy's proposed legislation. Planned Parenthood believes this bill is an intrusion of the government into private medical decisions and serves no medical purpose. Forcing women against their will to, to have information um, that's designed to shame them, to coerce them, and with the intent of, uh, of getting them to change their minds about decisions that they've made um, is never a good idea. However, Senator Tracy argues this bill isn't telling women what to do. I believe life begins at conception. I just believe a woman should be informed before she makes a very important decision in her life, and this gives her an opportunity to be informed of what she's going to do. Currently, two states, Texas and Louisiana, have this mandate. A court order threw out the law in Oklahoma, and it's in court right now in North Carolina. Do you agree with this proposal? Let us know on our Facebook page at WKRN-TV.